you feel like hey, I'm going. Just, 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 just
if you would do so. Uh, out with it! We don't have much time. I, I, I need another piece of coal for the fire. Why? My, mine's gone out and my desk is covered with frost. Frost? Why, why is that a problem? You were just saying the other day, Oh, I'm so happy that George is getting colder! I <laughs> love <laughs> Christmas! Mm, yes, but I didn't think I'd have to contend with it inside the office. Oh, you have complaints, do you? Okay, okay, so you're gonna, you're gonna cross over here. What? Cross? Since when? This is since the last rehearsal that we had. not the last rehearsal. You were another. Oh, okay. That was the day that you had your therapy appointment. Yeah. Do you feel better about yourself? <laughs> so, oh, oh, okay. All right. Well, we'll talk about that later. We'll unpack it after the show. All right. Now, Bob Crinkle, Cratchit, tell me how many pieces of coal did you use yesterday? It's just the one. And how many the day before that? One. And the day before that? One. So, why would I be inclined to give you an extra piece of coal today? When one was enough yesterday, and one the day before that. Well, and don't almost... even say, oh, but Mr. Scrooge, it's Christmas time, and I'm cold, and my family depends on me having adequate working conditions, well, which are not entitled to. Check OSHA's website. Is that OSHA? That is OSHA, I think. Is that OSHA? I don't know. Whatever. Uh -huh. And I suppose you want to model off too, don't you? Yes, sir, it's almost... Christmas! Uh, which was, uh, this was like, we workshopped this like two months ago. It's fine. All right. <laughs> What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> it says puppy. Puppy. No, no. Puppy dog eyes. Give me puppy dog eyes. Don't you think it makes more sense? Does it make more sense? <laughs> That's better. I'll take it. It's fine. All right. Ah! Take the day off tomorrow. Thank you, sir. But you must be in early the day after. Of course. Uh, uh, hey. You look really, really good. Yeah, I know I'm good. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Okay, well, someone is a little for themselves, and it's fine. Gotham Squad! At length, the hour for shutting up the counting house arrived, and Scrooge stepped out into the dreary streets. He took his usual melancholy meal. Uh, it's salty. At his usual melancholy tavern. It's gold. And after reading the important news of the day... Oh, lovely! We're getting 2,000... Oh, no, we're not. Sorry. <laughs> okay. He went home. Yes, and what a home it was. You see, Scrooge lived in quarters that previously belonged to his deceased business partner, Marley. They were dark, gloomy, and cold. But they fit the miser like a glove, but on this night, something seemed amiss. Something... Something seemed amiss. Where you going? Shortly after climbing into bed, Scrooge heard something Scrooge. That must have been the wind. We'll go with that. Scrooge. It's strange for the wind to know my name, but it's fine. They don't know my full name. They didn't say my first name. Right? Scrooge. I'm just gonna pretend like I'm not home, and they'll go away on their own. That's how soliciting works. Scrooge. It's a, it's a latch down at the bottom. It's stuck. It's stuck. It's a, no, it's not. Just lift up and push. Scrooge. Lift just, and push. I can't. Just like. <laughs> 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 Jacob Marley. Oh. What is going on with all the fog? I think it broke the fog machine. You broke the That's a rental. Yeah. Like what? Where's the Marley costume? I left it in my car. And are those real chains? Yeah, I found them backstage for the second two. Wonderful. Oh. Uh, they... They are the chains I forged in life! I made them link by link and yard by yard. Is the pattern strange to you, Ebenezer? Why are you talking like that? Because I am wrong! You have forged your own chains and have had more time to do so. Uh, Jacob Molly, I don't have chains. They are metaphorical chains, but believe me, they bind. They bind. Molly, do you suffer? More than you could know. This guy. You don't have to. You don't have to go full Meryl Streep on this. You will be visited by three spirits. The first will appear tonight at the stroke of midnight. The second tomorrow night at the stroke of midnight, and the third. The day after tomorrow's midnight. Okay, sorry. 
Trust me home by midnight, Ebenezer. I must depart, but heed my warning, for in these spirits lies your salvation. Vation. Vation. Just go. Well, how am I supposed to sleep now? That's what? Sorry, we already have a gong, thank you. <laughs> Bruce tossed the turn. He was exhausted. He got all those feet beaten by struggles. <laughs> was it the conversation with the spirit? Oh, okay. It's as if everything was All right, what is that? Trouble with the girl. It's sunny and dark. Okay, you guys love this scene too much. It's a tremendous festival. Look at him. Finally, after hours of tossing and turning, Finally settled into a deep sleep and then dumps one. You didn't give me the hello. <laughs> Midnight? But it was 3 a.m. before I went to bed. How is this possible? Oh, how is this possible? It's the latch at the bottom. I know it's the latch at the bottom. <laughs> Jam. No, it's not jam. <laughs> you have to push it down. I believe in you. 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 I believe <laughs> Does it look good? Like, it looks, yeah. It's like, it's really Tracy Turnblad. Yeah. It has no punch draw in it. Right? You don't want to give him. You! Down me. there! Me? Yes, you. Are you ready to go on a journey to the past? Why are we journeying into the past? So visit you, my dear boy. Oh, okay. okay. Step through this window. Walk with a stranger. But be careful, sweet. Things are that sweet. <laughs> is, that, is that me? I am young Ebenezer Scrooge. I am currently attending a prestigious private university, which is merely the first step on my journey towards predestined greatness. Who knows how high I will climb? Will I be the mayor? Will I be a millionaire? Will I do classic Christmas stories with my two best friends? Best friends? We just met you. <laughs> I'm just getting some extra work done before the holidays. But for now, I'm just waiting. I'm just, what are you doing? I'm just waiting. Hurry up. And waiting. I'm just waiting. <laughs> Isabel! Oh, coming! Uh, Isabel! Uh, I'm at the airport, sorry! <laughs> Isabel, oh, my boy. one true love! I haven't seen her in decades! Isabel, you're. late! Well, I have to find the shower that you got me for Christmas. This is very inconsiderate, Isabel. You know how busy I am. The man is little to you, does it not? Another idol has replaced me and we can make you happy, Scrooge, but, but I have no reason to scream. Another idol? What are you talking about? A, a golden one? What? You mean money? Yes, money! And in pursuit of your money, I've watched all your nowhere aspirations follow. What if I was? Money is the way the world works, Isabel. Nothing in this life is harder than poverty, and I seek to avoid that. I work day in and day out to make sure that one day we will want for nothing. This is a new era, Isabel. Only the strong will survive. I must never take my eye off the ball. They'll say, no one works harder than Ebenezer. And one day, success will be synonymous with the name Scrooge. I want a better life, Isabel, for both of... <laughs> <laughs> Isabel? Isabel? Isabel! Chin up, old boy. You have business to attend to. <laughs> Is... <laughs> Isabel, my one true love, gone forever! I love her even now. 
Wonderful. But we mustn't dawdle on that for too long. We have to get you back to bed, my dear boy. Now, take this. It'll keep you warm as you continue on your journey. Continue? Oh, yes. You're gonna, what do you mean? You still have two more spears to get through, Sugar Plum. Now, farewell. Well, money, two spirits. Two spirits walk into a bar and the bartender says, why the long faith? That usually gets a bigger laugh. No, it doesn't. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> oh, it's a bad. It's oh, midnight oh, again. Oh, so sorry, oh, oh, oh. Midnight again. Oh, oh. Yes. Come in. <laughs> Scrooge? Yes. Ebenezer Scrooge. Yes, that's me. You would not believe how many houses I've been to before this one. I've encountered a Nicole Scrooge, a Daniel Scrooge, not an Ebenezer until now. Well, you should probably find a new GPS. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. Do you? So you're Scrooge. You ready to go on a journey or whatever, my dear boy? Where are we going? Tonight we are looking upon a feast that is both humble and size, but also mighty bountiful spirits. Well, is it far away? Not at all. Just grab onto my robe and we'll be on the way. Grab your robe? Grab the robe. That's not in the script. Did, did you sanitize it? I sure did. I'm sure. Okay, fine. Fine, whatever. Now, Alexa, play my travel jams. Okay. Now playing seat shake and travel jams. When did you add this? Like, No, that's not okay. You have to ask before you can take those on Spotify. I just hit shuffle and it came up. That's why I'm supposed to not ask songs I like. Well, I do like this song too. Right? Well, well I'm going to go. Well, I'm going to go. Well, I'm going to go. Well, I'm going to go. There you go. Home Come in the again. line. Work your body in time. Okay. Home <laughs> again. Oh, that's my clerk. Well, Carl Michael Cratchit. <laughs> I was close. Carl Michael Cratchit. Same thing. Yay, home again. Oh, Tiny Tim. Dad. Tiny Dad. Dad! Dad! What are you doing? You have the beard on. The leg. The leg. You still have the beard. The leg. Oh, my leg hurts. <laughs> oh, hello, my son. Hey, Dad. Was I a good boy in church today? Oh, yes. You were as good as gold. Even better. Good. 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 Dad! Dad! Yes, my son? What's for dinner? I'm starving. Uh, I don't know. Let me go talk to your mother. Okay. Dad! 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 <laughs> yes! I'm right here, son. What do you need? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, too, my dear boy. Oh, hello, darling. Oh, hello, Bob. How are you doing today? <laughs> I'm okay. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing all right. Say, would you mind watching Tiny Tim for a while while I get the frost out of my hair? I don't mind at all. I'll go out in just a few more seconds. Just give me ten more seconds and I'll go out there, Bob. <laughs> all right, I'm going now. I Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my son, and hey. I don't suppose you... Oh. <laughs> I don't... I don't suppose you know if that handsome devil father of yours remembered to pick up bread at the market this evening? No. Mommy. Mommy, he didn't forget. Oh, good! There was no need to go to the market after Father gave all our money away. What? Well, yes, yeah, so we were coming home from church and we found a beggar. I said, Father, it'd be mad charitable if you gave that beggar some of our money. He's so sweet, isn't he, folks? And I suppose your and I suppose your father said something like, "Well, unfortunately, my tyrant of a boss, Ebenezer Scrooge, barely pays me a little wage, so I need to take home every cent I make so that my wife can put food on the table." Did you say that? No, none of that sounds familiar. Mm -hmm. But he must have been feeling especially charitable because he gave the beggar all of our money. Isn't that nice of him? All of it. All of it. Your father won't be happy until we're sleeping in the gutter, will he? I'm going to go have a word with that father of yours right now. But, but do you mind having that word out here so I can see both of you at the same time this holiday? <laughs> I don't think that would be good because we're 
definitely different people, so we're going to talk backstage, back in the other room, yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Cratchit! I cannot believe you gave away all of our money! Oh, darling, please calm down. I will not calm down! You get up there right now and you tell our son that all we can afford to eat tonight is beans! <laughs> oh, hello, son. Um, I, I just finished um, speaking with your lovely mother, and she says that we're having beans for dinner. <laughs> I love beans! Oh! God bless us! Thank you! Thank you! She read the book! Yes! A round of applause for this woman right here! Yes! Yes! Wonderful! Did you cheat? Did you know someone in the show? Did you? No? Okay, fantastic. It's fine. I think you're lying. But, you know, it's fine. Oh, spirit! Such a wonderful family! Wonderful, lovely child. I hope he lives a long and fruitful and happy life. Oh, you would think, <laughs> yes, you would hope, right? Oh, yes, 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 yes. I do, yes. Too bad he's not going to. What? Very Spirit, well. what do you mean? Oh, well, I foresee a vacancy at the table and a broken crutch without an owner. <laughs> he was the one that broke it. We all saw that. Oh, well, he was excited about those beans. What yes, he was aggressively excited. excited about those beans. I don't know why. Oh, Spirit, say it's not so. Say he will live. Mm, I cannot say that. But I'll tell you one thing I can say. Yes. It is all your fault. It's my fault? My fault. Yes, it is. No, Five no. must have spent too much time on that. Go, 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 go. Oh, get to that this bad screw. Okay. Check. All right. No. Here. Take this. You have one more spirit visitor to get through. Just yes. to keep in mind everything you've seen here. Are you going to tuck me in? <laughs> Things are about to get. Stop. Come. Become a better person, Scrooge. Okay. This is on you. You put the you put the blanket on the wrong end of it. Oh, man. If I could turn back time, <laughs> if I could find a way, I'd go back and save time and Tim. Shit, get out of my dream. <laughs> All right, where's that third spirit? I'm ready for him. Has anyone seen a spirit? Can you do me a favor? When the spirit comes out, let me know where he is. Because I'm ready. This way? This way? <laughs> I, mm, okay, ma'am. I would expect that from a child. <laughs> this way? This way? All right, okay, all right. So, you see, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on you again. All right, you got one more time. One more, okay? Don't, don't look, don't look. I don't want to hear from you again. I don't want to hear from you again. Anyone else? Then, uh, this way, behind me. Behind me. Okay. All right. So this is like what? Like play with the old people there? Like what is it? Okay. Do you hate me? All right. Am I not giving you good enough? Can you give me a second, please? Because I'm like talking to all. Hmm. Ah! Can you can you not sneak up on me, please? Goodness. Are you the third spirit? <laughs> you're, you're not, okay, all right. And you're the ghost of Christmas yet to come? So no words? None. And you're here to show me the future? You can respond, before you reply, okay, all right. Oh, that's fine. Well, let's get on with it. I'm trying to make it to Walmart before they run out of toilet paper again. So, <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was even closer than Carl Michael, okay? All right? Mm. Well, I've got a pop that pop full of sunshine. I've got a lot of milk that's on my nose. Whoa. Take me away! A secret place! A secret <laughs> place! Take me away! Do you mind? Do you mind? I'm in the middle of working here. Take me away, a secret place, a sweet... You're lucky I'm tired. I've been working four, eight hours. 
What's going on over here? This is a party. Oh, this was your boy. Oh, so not that happy, man. He must have been a good one, huh? He was a very good boy. Yeah, yeah, they all say that around here. Uh, How old would you say he, he was? just turned eight. Just turned eight? Are you ready for a coincidence, bud? I've got me an eight year old. Oh, really? Yeah, 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 back at home. I have to get them to sit down in one place, right? I'm like, hey, you sit down, do your homework. And they're like, no, I just want to run with me, go to laser. Well, I suppose Thank you me. want to be paid then. Oh, absolutely. Merry Christmas. Thanks. Um, um, so, um, so sorry, I don't know if you read this before you handed it over, but it said $1. Like that? $1, one, one dollar stuff, like that? That's the flat rate, yes? Yes, it is the flat rate. I remember that. But, um, is there any room for Christmas? Bonus of sorts, I don't know, the police, the police. You want a tip? A tip? I would love a tip if you could just put that on top of the earth. Of course, of course. Of course. Anyway. I guess I just won't eat this week. <laughs> Alright, that's awful sad what you said right there. Here's what I can do. Um, what's your favorite holiday meal? Turkey. That's alright. Um, I can take this Christmas tip. I think they have to take it down in Marketplace. Wait, wait, wait. Just right down there. No way! I, I live right down there. The big blue one. That's me. Oh, really? Yeah. Where, so you live around? There? Yeah. Next, Where? next to you. Next to you. Oh. Must be rubbish. Right about, about, about this turkey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to take the tip that you gave me, go get the Marketplace with the biggest turkey I can find, and then I'll walk all the way down there to your house, and I'm going to find it, I'm going to look at it, I'm going to be like, man, thank you for the, thank you for the suggestion for the turkey, and then I turn around and go to my house and put on the table and future you Is that good with you? <laughs> yeah, it's just good with me, Mr. Gray Ticker. Oh, that one's so basic. <laughs> Joy to the world and some other lyrics. <laughs> Christmas? Humbug! No! No! <laughs> Bob, come back! Spirit, that's not okay! Come out here and face your crime! Oh, no. Come on. Stop sneaking up on me! Try to mourn for this poor child! What could be a worse fate for anybody? What is this? Spirit, what is showing me? What? Here lies Ebenezer Scrooge. No! Spirit, not I! Tell me, did anyone come to my funeral? Down squad. <laughs> oh, thank you, Gong Squad. You all are my true friends. Spirit, tell me, are these shades of what will be or merely shades of what may be? Before you answer, remember, you can use your words. <laughs> Fantastic. No words. Wonderful. The Spirit! Hear me! I am a changed man! Why show me all of this if I am beyond all hope? Not this again! Spirit! 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 Take hold! Excuse me, we're in the middle of something. Thank you. Thank you again. And I'm home, I might not have missed it. I might not be too late. I might, I might. You there, why? Mm -hmm. What day is it? Uh, Christmas. Christmas? Wonderful, I haven't missed it. Here, take, um, okay, I'll wait. <laughs> okay, here, take this money and go down to the marketplace, all right? You get the biggest turkey that you can find, all right? All right? Deliver it to this, I'll text it to you, all right? all right? I'm not gonna write on you. I'll text the address to you. Deliver it to that address, that's the home of Bob Cratchit. Cratchit? Mm. I pissed up his name again. Cratchit, and wish he and his tiny child and his wonderful wife a Merry Christmas. And whatever change is left is yours. Now go. Oh, thanks, man. Merry of Christmas. Course. Merry Christmas. Happy to see that you can look up from your phone for a split second. And I promise I will keep Christmas well now and all. And Scrooge was better than his word. He did and infinitely more. And for Tiny Tim, he did not die. 
church was as loving and kind as if he were part of the family. He became as good a friend, as good an employer, and as good a soul as the city ever knew. He had no further discourse with spirits, and everyone said for the rest of his days that he knew how to keep the spirit of Christmas alive and well. May that truly be said of all of us. And so, as Tiny Tim observed, God bless us. Everyone! Thank you all so much for coming to our performance of A Christmas Girl. We hope you have had a very Merry Christmas, an incredibly happy holiday season, and we hope you enjoy the rest of your day here at Stone Mountain Park. Thank you all so much. One more time, Dog Squad! We'll see you all again.